guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So if you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, so we're going to do, a, I'm going to do a reading on the total lunar eclipse that's happening on November 8th, the blood moon. Okay, this eclipse is at 16 degrees Taurus and uh, will occur at 6.02 a.m. Eastern Time. So do Dr. Ad five hours universal time from wherever you are. Um, so this moon, you guys, also, hey, everybody in the chat, hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to talk a little bit about this full moon eclipse in Taurus, okay? With this card, conclusions are within reach, okay? So this basically means at this time on November 8th, set your intentions. This is a card, and this full moon talks about letting go. Okay, the energy is basically saying what you are experiencing right now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So you're being asked to allow events to unfold and for you to be easy on yourself as this happens. This is a time of doors slamming shut. Okay, and in your situation, Virgo, this is about you closing the door on situations or relationships, people, places and things that if you have not closed yet, it's time for you to do that. And this is a good time for that to happen, beginning on November 8th. Okay, allow events to unfold. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time. As hard as it might be, forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make it right what somebody did, but it releases it so you can move on. And the key phrase for you at this time to attune yourself to this moon, that which is meant for me will not pass me by. Okay, so it's basically a time of like doors which slam shut now will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma, negative karma, meditation, yoga, that kind of stuff is recommended at this time. Seed control and let events unfold. unfold. Okay, so the full moon lunar eclipse is about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Okay, but <laughs> full, full moon eclipses are kind of like full moons on steroids, right? Um, it can be hard to handle because it portents change, something many of us are uncomfortable with, but change is a part of life. And this full moon eclipse, no matter when, well, when this card, ha this energy happens, it is to remind you of the fact. It gives you a glimpse into the shadow, shadow self for it's time for you to work with 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 your darkness if you haven't done so yet so the energy really of this blood moon here that we're having on november 8th is very intense and it's a time for you to set intentions for letting go of people places and things that aren't serving you it's a time for you to close the door it's not a time for you to wax and wane it's not a time for you to go back on your decisions or um you know, like if you're in a car and you're kind of like weaving all over the road, no, it's time for you to pick a lane and stick with that lane, whatever it is. If you're going to stay or if you're going to go, whatever your situation is, it's you're being asked to let go at this time and then slam that door shut, okay? So let's get into the rest of your reading, Virgo, to see what's behind you, what's in front of you currently, what's coming ahead of you, what obstacles and what you need to do in your situation, whether that's life, situations, love, health, career, we'll take a look at all of that energy. Okay, so what's behind you, Virgo? What is the energy that's behind you? Okay, temperance, so that's good. Coming from a place of balance, I feel like at this time you know what you need to do. Okay, this is a card of peace, patience, moderation, you're coming from a place of calm. Okay, um, so a lot of you have already manifested or put into action this period of letting go 
and slamming the door shut on certain people, places, and things. Maybe even some of you could have let go of a Sagittarius or let go of that, uh, a situation with a Sagittarius. I feel like in the past, um, what's behind you is you came to understand what your extremes are and that now you know, you sought a place of peace. So that's very good energy. Let me see what else is behind you. Okay. So the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, something didn't work out. Love was delayed. There might have been sadness or pain, an unrequited love situation, um, a feeling of blocked or repressed emotions, maybe infertility or miscarriage. This is where I feel like in the past you came to a place of like, okay, acceptance. Love was delayed. There were no new beginnings. Didn't have that new romance or that new relationship that maybe you were hoping for um, or a pregnancy or something didn't come to fruition in the past. No celebratory energy was happening. Um, maybe even socializing, that kind of energy was just like, no. So that all is behind you, okay? And... What's in front of you, like right now, what's surrounding you? Okay, look, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so this is why, Virgo, you need to let go fully, like slam the door shut. Okay, I don't know in what situation you are in, okay? There might have been a divorce, dysfunctional family situation, uh, home, family, life, situation, unhappy, a broken home. Um, it, it's, it's just kind of like, I feel don't dwell. Okay. I do feel like you in the past, like from before have accepted a situation, but now it's time for you to like take action by closing this out on the eighth. Okay. Closing it out for good. It's it, accepting it is one thing. Okay, but actually taking action, whereas, so if there was a relationship that didn't pan out or didn't work out and somebody just wants to be friends, it's time for you to say no, close the door and move on. Okay, um, a relationship, if you're in a situation where you can't fully close the door on someone and you have to stay in contact with them, then you need to detach and make that decision to keep it at a minimum okay, or strictly business, however you're going to communicate with someone. But for others, if you're not in that situation, like you can leave your job, okay, you don't have to stay friends with people who could not meet your needs, especially if you created a soul tie with someone, if you know what I mean, like an intimate soul tie, you don't have to stay friends with that person. That's, I don't think you would feel like you're being your authentic self, if you haven't, unless you've completely accepted the fact that that connection isn't going to go any further, it's gone as far as it could go, okay, it then you have to come to, with this full moon eclipse, that decision to say, you know what, I've accepted that and I'm not going to try anymore, I'm not going to pursue that anymore and close the door on that, and if you choose to stay friends with that person, do not go back into anything else with them in a romantic kind of way. Somebody has showed their colors and you did come to realize that something's just not going to happen, and for others, some of you might have kind of been a little wishy-washy in a relationship and you kind of wanted to be with someone and then kind of not wanted to be with someone. This is all about picking a lane and sticking with it, making it stick, making it count the decision. Okay. So let's see what's ahead of you. Because remember, attuning to this, to this full moon eclipse, the message is that which is meant for you will not pass you by. Okay, but you have to come to terms with what that is, what won't pass you by, and what keeps coming back, but nothing happens. If that is the situation, no, slam that door shut. Okay, let's take a look. What's ahead of you, Virgo? Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse is ahead of you. Okay, so this is... Emotional maturity, insecurity, lack of trust, lacking direction. So this could be a water sign, 
who's going to show up in your life going forward after you've slammed that door. And this person, the queen of, uh, queen of cups, male or female energy, um, in the reverse is someone who is very smothering, um, insecure, and, and, you know, has kind of like an addictive thing. They might be a little bit emotionally manipulative as well. So if you were connected to someone like that in the past, they're not going to be too happy with you shutting the door or slamming the door on, on a connection here. Um, so I, f I don't know if that's a warning for you or for you to know, um, or if it's just someone that you've closed out a relationship with, a romantic relationship, family member, friend, um, I do feel like some, <laughs> like once you shut that door, Virgo, you slam it and you're like, I'm out, you're done, or you're finished, if you've already, or even if you've already decided to do that, and this is the process playing out on November 8th, yeah, I feel like this person is just going to be trying to come back in. Um, yeah. King of Pentacles here, trying to come back in and connect with you again. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like this person's going to come in with this. Try to make it work. Try to find balance. Try to find a way. Maybe even try to be that friendship thing with you again. Um, uh, oh, I'm going to be more flexible. I, I, I try to, you know, I want to like... I've seen how much I've lost and I've been weighing and make, you know, thinking about things and weighing the options. And yeah, I don't know, Virgo. I, I just kind of feel like I'm not telling you what to do, but I think like you got to check yourself if this is something that's just not going to work out for you because it just has a history or a pattern of not working out. I'd say just keep your eyes and ears peeled because I do feel like someone's not going to be happy with you shutting the door on fully because it's basically a message to them that you've taken up your sword, you're putting up your boundaries, and you're not playing. You're just done. Okay. All right. <laughs> Virgo. All right, let's see. What are these obstacles here? What are the obstacles going forward? Okay. Wow. Interesting how the four of wands can be an obstacle, but I feel like there's a lot of family connection here as well. For some of you, this might not even have anything to do with love. As far as romance, this might have something to do with family members or people where some of you might feel like you're the black sheep of the family. And, you know, the obstacle is how do you um, be in some kind of a relationship going forward with people that you can't get away from um, and, and navigate that. Okay. <laughs> How do you, so if you've got like family members that you have to see, if you're connected to an ex and you have children with them and you have to see them, how do you, this is a big obstacle for you is trying to figure out. That's why you have to really embrace and work with your darkness and find out where your weak spots are so you can strengthen them in order to work with, or even if it's on a job that you can't leave just yet, if you're in situations like that, um, you have to find a way to not give access to your weak spots while you're trying to s strengthen them or um, keep yourself very stable because that four of wands is a card about stability. Okay. Um, also, for others, what's the obstacle is somebody wanting a reunion with you. Okay. You, some of you may, like I said, you may be just having to say no you know, and that's a big challenge here, right? Because some of you may know that you need to slam this door shut, but your feelings are still attached or you still have feelings for this person, but it's about what's best for you. It's not about what's best for your emotions because your emotions are always going to flicker like a candle in the wind. They're going to be up. They're going to be down. You'll feel different things at different times during the day. Your emotions are just very fickle and you really can't base your decisions on your emotions. You'll have to base your decisions on what's best for you as a whole. Okay. So the obstacle is also for some of you, um, do you attend a family event? Do you attend this Christmas thing? Do you have a reunion with someone during the holidays? Okay. Um, these are the obstacles that are going to come before you. May not even be a question for you, but I see them 
that these are going to be things that you're going to have to take a look at. You might have a connection with someone and there's friends involved as well. And you may have to cut off some of these, these friends, you know, um, because you're trying to break away from a relationship of some sort. So you have a lot of, um, stuff to sort out here as far as your, you know, once you make that decision to cut it off, you'll then have to figure out how you're going to maintain that. Boundaries are not just about putting up boundaries. They're about maintaining boundaries after you've put them up. Um, a boundary is worthless if you're not going to enforce it. So you have to come to this place here with this obstacle is, you know, how you're going to deal with it. Okay. And the next question we're going to look at is what do you need to do? Okay, you've got judgment in reverse. You got to check your self doubt because you may have some self doubt. Listen, some of you might take this full moon eclipse and set your intentions and make that decision to choose a lane or slam that door shut. But then after a little bit of while, you, you that self doubt might creep up for some, not all of you, where you might say to yourself, Did you make the right decision? I feel like that's past energy. Um, I feel like that's kind of like um, that evil energy that's trying to tempt you into not having that love and self-care for self, okay? Um, there's also some karmic lessons here that you need to take a look at, and that's why I was saying here that in order to release that karma and free yourself from it, you'll have to forgive, right? Right? Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting. Forgiveness doesn't mean letting somebody back in, giving them a full pass to continue um, not meeting your needs. Forgiveness means you're letting go of holding any resentment within yourself because that will only be poison to you and it won't affect anybody else but you. Okay? And forgiveness is for you, it's not for other people ever. Okay? They have to forgive themselves and they have to forgive who they have to forgive. It's it's nothing to do, your forgiveness has nothing to do with them. It's about you, okay? So what you need to do is, <clears throat> you know, somehow get into that energy of understanding. If you don't want to call it forgiveness because that's too much of a religious term for you, that's fine. You can just say, I'm going to forgo it because it ain't worth my time to sit here in resentment and feeling pain and distress over this when that other person doesn't even care and they're going out about their day enjoying it and I'm sitting in pain. No, you got to just say, you know, I'm going to forgo this because to hell with it. It's not hurting any, it's not hurting that person. They don't care. It's hurting me and I'm not spending my time letting someone rent space in my head and my heart when I've got a life to live and I have good things going on in my life, right? Okay. Some of you need to um, become more self-aware because there might be a lack of self-awareness for some of you, right? There's also, um, don't get into any kind of gossip. Once you let go, be done with this. Don't even sp speak somebody's name into existence. Every time you speak their name, you keep them alive, okay? Uh, in other words, once you slam that door shut, somebody has to be dead to you the, or the situation. Okay. And so these are things that I feel coming up for you that you need to, um, you need to take a look at and take action about. Now, the energy is showing up here. If it helps, you have Sagittarius, you have Scorpio, you have Pisces, you have Cancer, you have... Um, Capricorn, you have Aries, okay, uh, Taurus, Did I say? and this is the full moon eclipse in Taurus as well, okay, so I do feel like as far as you guys moving on and letting go, making that decision to slam a door shut, it's time, and use the energy of this full moon eclipse to manifest that. Some of you are kind of right at that spot now, like you know, like you've come to peace. Some of you accepted like this isn't going to work. It's time to let go of that hope. Okay. So it's interesting. Hope is a funny thing, right? So if you're sitting on an island and a boat, a ship passes by, you get hope. You're going to be rescued. Okay. Um, but if that ship doesn't come in and rescue you, 
now you're going to have hope that, oh, there's a ship, there's ships out there, they're passing by, they're going to see me at some point, and things are going to change for me. And so the ship comes again, and nothing happens. They don't see you. Now you're out there building bonfires, and you're trying to set the island on fire, so you could be seen and be recognized, and, and somebody can just appreciate and say, hey, we're, you know, I'm going to, we're going to come help you, I'm going to come help you, right? Help make the situation better. But that ship doesn't ever come in. It keeps coming by and passing, and now your hope is starting to dwindle. At this point, you got to just accept and make the best of your situation. You're on this island. The ships aren't coming. Let it go. Give it up and start building a, a tent or a, a hut and start collecting some coconuts and start adapting to your environment and making where you are now a better place for you to be. Because sitting in hope, as long as you're focusing outward and waiting for that rescue and waiting to be noticed and waiting to be understood, everything around you in your life will be deteriorating because you're not paying attention to it. You're, 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 you're high on hopium. So for some of you, I get it. The first ship comes by, I get it. But that ship keeps passing in the night and nothing's happening. It's time for you to like just completely shut the door. And every time you do that, <laughs> I have to tell you, every time you do that, whether it's good for you or not, somebody always comes back <clears throat> or someone always shows up. That ship finally comes in and you got to take a look and say, you know, I've been out here signaling you for years. Why all of a sudden now did you come in? And some of you might just be like, you know what? I've made a home here. I I'm fine. You may come and visit and you may have some coconut milk with me. <laughs> but you, no, 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 I'm not leaving. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not going back into something where, you know, what's going to happen? I'm going to get back on that ship and then the ship's going to sink and I'm swimming back to my island again, right? <laughs> pick and choose your battles, Virgo, pick and choose your battles. So this is basically the overall message that I'm getting here for you guys. And I know a lot of you have already made that decision and you're done and you've moved on. And then this message would not be for you. This is, but I will say if, if that in a romantic relationship, you've already sorted that out. Good, good for you. Kudos to you for doing that. You might have other situations in your life, your work, your health, family members, friends, things like that. So see if it applies in that way. Let me see what your messages of love oracle card. Okay. Strictly sexual. Okay. Some of you need to know that that connection that you had in a romantic relationship was just about the sex. That's all it was. It was a strictly sexual. And some of you might have hoped for it to be more. And that might have put you in a position where you stranded on that island high on hopium and so you have to or some of you already have come to terms with there was nothing more than this and maybe you caught feelings or you got yourself caught up in something okay and that's a hard pill to swallow but once you see it for what it is it's not personal right it's only personal when you make it personal when your feelings get involved okay so some of you need to like Accept the fact that this is maybe what it was. You might have had somebody who tried to manipulate you into thinking that it was more than that, but they were doing that so that they could get what they wanted, right? And that happens. And it's unfortunate and it's devious. And that person is like a misfit, basically. Like they're very insecure and they have nothing. That, that's not even someone that's even should be worthy of your time at all. So let them go if you haven't yet. Okay, you also have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So that's part of your, Virgo, that's part of your um, working with your darkness, okay? Some of you have already accepted this situation, but you haven't fully let go yet. It's time now for you to integrate the letting go part after the acceptance, okay? Let me see what else is here for you. Okay, there's your obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And that's what I was saying. Once you let go and slam the door, now you got to do the work because now you're left with you and your darkness. And those are those obstacles. Those are those unhealed wounds. And that's where that forgiveness comes in. Okay, so that you can't move forward as long as you're holding on to the resentment, the hate, and the anger. You have to get into a place of acceptance and then take a look at those obstacles, which is what I said. Gossip being in front of you, 
um, people who are indecisive, people with self-doubt, people who are malicious, um, people who lack self-awareness, who are unwilling to learn from their karmic lessons, that might have bled into you and caused obstacles for you. Okay, so these are things that you have to now get rid of. They're like barnacles on the bottom of a ship. They're stuck and you got to get that knife and carve them out and get rid of them. Okay, so yeah, a lot of you, this has to do with a past life love. Um, this might have been a twin flame or I'm sorry, not a twin flame. This, this feels like it was more of a karmic, um, a false twin flame, a karmic kind of a relationship where it, it so it looked like a twin flame because of the connection because of the similarities some of you might have gotten a little bit confused this might have been a, a wolf in sheep's clothing that came across to be someone who you thought there was a a s intense soul connection where it felt like you guys were meant to be together this these are some hard lessons to accept that you might be saying to yourself or might not want to say to yourself, you know what, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I made it, maybe I made, I had a bad judgment call here about somebody. Um, the judgment in the reverse is making a bad judgment call and in the position of what you need to do, some of you need to take a look at that. Okay. Maybe I was wrong about that. And that, that's, there might be a little bit of shame involved in that because you, some of you gave your heart to people or uh, people, places, and things that you, sh you saw it, you, either you got duped or you saw it. something was more than just a strictly sexual connection and it wasn't, right? And is, does that mean this person is going to learn their karmic lesson? Maybe, maybe not, but it shouldn't be your concern anymore. You've got to move on, okay? So take that time to do that inner work that, that work that needs to be done with yourself and it all has to do with like having those light bulb moments seeing seeing things for what they are not using your emotional thinking your emotional brain but your logical brain and it's basically calling a spade a spade and then making a decision to move on from that you know it, i feel like i'm just repeating myself here with this message but the wheel of fortune is here. It's time for change. Once you get into that forgiveness mode, you release all that negative karma, you release the karma, and then your life begins to change in a very positive way. This is when life then begins to favor you rather than you favoring what you had in the past that wasn't deserving of that. The wheel of fortune is all about change. It's all about destiny. It's all about that turning point. And a lot of you have... The wheel has turned just slightly. Some of you, <laughs> daylight savings, turned that wheel back a little bit. Some of you stepped back into something that you didn't realize at the time, you know, or maybe you got some bad advice or other people were, I feel like it's time you have to take up your sword right now. Things will begin to change with the wheel of fortune. Things will shift. Things will change for you once you stop. And you put that lock and key on that door and you move forward because you, I feel like whatever the connection that you had with people, places, and things in the past that weren't meant to lift you up have brought you nothing but bad luck, have brought you situations that were out of your control and have kept you stuck in a rut. And some of you have just been surviving every day with something because your feelings have been telling you this is your person okay but once you stop and you move forward that's when you are no longer surviving that's when you begin to thrive and the universe is going to follow your lead if you let go they're going to let go and give you opportunity to move forward in the way you like when once once you free up the universe gives you that freedom okay to explore your destiny to get to where you need to be if you if you're telling the universe you're stuck in this rut and things aren't moving forward they're going to mirror exactly that for you so 
what you what you reflect out to the universe is what they're going to give you. So if you're going to reflect out freedom, they're going to give you freedom. If you're going to reflect out love, they're going to give you love. Okay, remember how that works. It's like a mirror effect. At least that's how I've always experienced it. So all right, you guys, I'm gonna leave your reading there. I'm gonna skip the singles because I feel like this blood moon message was very, very important. And I feel like a lot of people really needed to hear that. And I'm talking not just about romance. I know some of you want to get that romance reading. As far as the intimacy and all that goes, I do feel like once you let go, the energies are going to try to like resurface in your life. Okay. But I feel like people, places, and things will definitely, <laughs> there's a thing like once you begin to ascend, whoever was holding on, there are some people who are going to try to keep you from ascension, okay, because for various reasons, but you're never going to be able to fly. Those sandbags are still attached in your life, okay? And for some of you, flying it just means getting to the next levels. For some of you, just getting, you know, like Donkey Kong up going up them levels just you know be donkey kong stepping on them barrels and trying to get to the top i am so dating myself oh my god i gotta stop with this <laughs> all right you guys so i'm gonna leave your message there i hope that 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 was helpful at least and that came at the right time for you so the full moon lunar eclipse is on november 8th so start setting your intentions now for that and then release on the 8th let go all right, you guys, I love you very much. I will see you back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.